Hello, my name's Holly. Now I'm one half of the Gothics and Foy project, Sensory Enigma. And I'm very excited to announce that we have a new single coming out very soon. So I thought it might be quite interesting if I do a bit of a video sort of explaining a bit about our music and also I thought it'd be quite interesting if I delve into my songwriting process because I know it can be quite interesting to see how bands and artists come up with their music and it's not always something that's particularly well explored so I thought I'd just sit down and have a chat with you guys and yeah let me know if this is interesting because I've no idea I've never done this before I don't really know what I'm doing but yeah hopefully it'll be interesting so, our new single is called Doppelganger, and it's a song that I wrote quite a while ago actually. I had these, uh, this idea for lyrics that explored the idea that you have different faces. So you, the face you present at work is different to the face you present when you're with your family, and so on and so on. Um, and also, I am fascinated by Sigmund Freud's theory of the uncanny. Now if you've not encountered this before, it's sort of looking at why certain things inv evoke feelings of fear and there isn't necessarily a clear answer and one of these is the idea of doppelgangers so the idea that you suddenly bump into someone who's your identical twin when you thought there was only one of you um, and you see it quite a lot in horror films where they use twins particularly twin girls I've noticed but that, that's another topic we won't get into that just now um, but anyway yeah so this track it explores the idea that there are possibly different versions of yourself um, and it also sort of hints that maybe that's a bit scary. Maybe you should be a little bit afraid if there's something that's too similar to you. Who knows? There's a few. There's a, it's open to interpretation and I like to keep my work open to interpretation as well. I think that's quite important. Um, so yeah, in this video I'm going to show you a little bit as well how I write the songs. Um, so to give you a basic sort of summary, I for Sensory Enigma anyway, I've been writing most of the music using a piece of software called Guitar Pro. Um, if you're not familiar with what that is, it's a piece of software that allows you to compose for so many different instruments like guitars, synths, drums, orchestral instruments, piano keys, pretty much anything. So it's very useful in terms of allowing me to write everything myself. So this track has um, a few synth parts and drums and my vocals layered on top and that's pretty much it. So it's quite simple in terms of song structure, which is kind of how I want Sensory Enigma to be, actually. I don't want to overcomplicate things because then that's moving a bit too far away stylistically from my musical influences. So with this project, we are quite influenced by bands such as Nightclub, if you've not heard of them. They are they're a very sort of synthwave dancey band, but they're quite gothic and they bring some gothic horror elements into their music, which is quite cool. Um, but we also like stuff like Emily Orton, and that's almost going very Renaissance, Victorian, Baroque music influences. So we've got a lot of different ideas going on. Um, so keeping it sort of the music fairly minimal and allowing the lyrics to be a bit more, to take the focus a bit more, I think is quite important. So in terms of composing, I yeah, I just came up with a few melodies essentially and then tried to fit them in with each other and the most difficult part was actually choosing the synth sounds. Um, you might think oh it's quite easy you just put a few synths together and they work. It can be quite hard figuring out ones which blend. Like some synths there'll be an amazing sounding synth but once you've mixed it in with like bass and another synth and the drums suddenly it doesn't sound as good so that was taking quite a while. Um, but it did help that I wrote the lyrics first. Which is not something I usually do actually. Um, with our other music projects, we often do more of the music first. Or we might have some ideas for lyrics, but we won't usually have a full set of lyrics. Um, so it helped in many ways that I had the song structure through the lyrics. So then it's just a case of, oh, okay, this melody will work really well for an intro, and this melody will fit really well for the verse, and then we do this for the chorus, and this for the second verse. Um, and things like that, so in some ways the structure helped. But yeah, I am hoping if my editing skills are good enough I will insert little clips of the software so you can see sort of a bit more of the programming and the technical side of it, which I think is quite interesting, especially if it's not something you're overly familiar with.
I'm also going to include a little snippet of the song at the end of this so you can get an idea of where we're going. Um, as of filming, I don't have a release date for it just yet, but we're hoping soon. Because um, I mean, originally I did actually want to release this track last year. Oh my god, it's 2020. When did that happen? But yeah, so that, um, you know, life gets in the way. And we did have a slight technical issue as well. Apart from that, it's fine. So yeah, I hope this is, this is probably going to be quite a short video now actually, isn't it? I thought this might take a while and I don't think it has. Oh, well, I hope this is of reasonable interest anyway, and if you would like to see like more of these sort of videos or anything like that, do let me know. Because um, it's quite fun to do, and it's quite nice to do something that's a little bit different and gives you more of an insight into the music rather than as just throwing our music out there and you sort of getting it not, not necessarily with much context. Anyway, I hope you enjoy our final track. Um, we do have other music coming out hopefully this year, if I can finish writing it. It's sort of, I do the thing if I have different ideas everywhere, and then it's just, you know, need to put them together. But yeah, I hope you find it interesting. Oh, well, thank you very much for watching, if you've made it this far. Brilliant, well done. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think, and I hope you enjoy Doppelganger. Okay, bye guys! Yeah.